Let's talk about the list because the list has expanded now to 10 candidates, JLs. We are at 10 candidates, and who we spoke about with um, Kenyon Martin is one Jason Kidd. And do you feel like he'll be able to bring that to the Knicks as a coach? How do you feel like the prospect of being a coach here? Yeah, I think every spot from early days in Brooklyn to going to Milwaukee, I think he's learned in every spot. Do's, don'ts, good, bad, and different. Uh, I think he's learned. He's always had one of the best minds in the game, being one of the, arguably one of the best point guards of all time. Um, so he's always been able to think the game. And then I think him learning along the way what he's done well, done not so well, uh, I think it only benefit him moving forward. So if he's able to coach the Knicks, they got a lot of young talent, guys who know who J. Kidd is. Uh, so I think it benefits. It was announced tonight that uh, from Mark Stein in New York Times that the Lakers have granted the Knicks permission to talk to Jason Kidd. We do know that Jason Kidd uh, was coaching with the Nets as soon as he left the Knicks, started coaching with the Nets. Yep. Uh, 44-38 and 30, 38 record with the Nets. Mm -hmm. Ends up leaving. It was rumored that he left because it, there was a, a power struggle. Yeah, he tried to power in the front office, tried a strong arm. He wanted to be coached to GM. Wanted to be coaching GM right um, away. Goes to Milwaukee, gets credit for, credited for developing the freak. Yeah. Turning the freak into a point forward, slowing him down a little bit, you know, in, in, in which the, the freak has been excelling in that role. Let's let's just be honest. Yeah. You know, let's let's just be honest. But then he hit a wall. Yeah. And, and then they hit a wall. 2016-17 um, season, Bucks had a winning record, 42-40, and 40, but they were eliminated in the first round by the Raptors. Kidd had a 23-22 and 22 record with the Bucks midway through the 2017 season before he was fired. I think I think J, J, Jason Kidd can coach. I, of course he can coach. He's Jason Kidd, man. He, he's, <laughs> J, he's Jason Kidd, bro. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where he, he's been well. He's a point guard. He's obviously a smart point guard. He's regarded as a guy who knows the game. But it's just a different animal managing an entire team, managing egos. Uh, that's like a whole other skill set. And he may he might have jumped into the thing a little bit too fast, as good as he is. And maybe him being slowed down could help. Um, another candidate on the list, JLS, is former Cavs championship head coach, currently with the Warriors championship assistant coach, Mike Brown. I don't know. I'm not. I'm definitely not confident in Mike Brown. I like J. Kid. You know, kind of on the fence. Maybe. Maybe not. Mike Brown. No. I hey, like, he's, he's another from the pop tree. I thought we liked the guys from the pop tree, man. Yeah. I don't know. I just the, the whole LeBron thing. I feel like I. I feel like LeBron just overshadows everybody. Yeah. Man. It's hard like, to really evaluate a coach uh, that's paired with LeBron, man. Yeah. Speaking of uh, Spolstra Light, JLs, there's also um, San Antonio Spurs assistant coach, and his name is Will Hardy, 32 years old Spurs assistant coach. Worked on the Spurs staff as an assistant uh, on the Popovich for seven seasons. Mm -hmm. Team videographer for Team USA in the FIBA World Cup. Spent his entire career in the Spurs organization as it started as a basketball operations intern in 2010. Um, coached the Spurs summer league team in Utah from 2015 to 18 and Vegas in 2017 to 18. Mm. Comes, comes from the pop tree once again. Like Budenholz and Mike Brown, Brett Brown of the Sixers, Monty Williams, James Borrego with Charlotte right now. But yeah, I mean, people are looking at him as as a you know potential savant or, 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 or prodigy, but Again, I wouldn't... This not a Brad Stevens type of situation. I don't see it that way. Now, you also have um, Dallas defensive coordinator by the name of Jamal Mosley. Mm -hmm. so, uh, six seasons under Rick Carlisle. Carlisle speaks highly of him. Great young coach, great communicator, says Carlisle. Thinks he'll be a head coach somewhere sooner or later. Uh, Mosley also spent four seasons with the Cavs as an assistant coach. And was a Nuggets play development coach from 06 to 2010. And uh, as Begley said, 10 candidates in all JL is so far. We have um, Jason Kidd. We have Jamal Mosley, Will Hardy, Mike Brown. You have Chicago Bulls assistant Chris Fleming. You have hmm. Sixers assistant uh, Ime Udoka. 
who's right now is rumored to be the favorite for the Chicago job. Mm. You have Orlando assistant Pat Delaney. Mike Woodson, Knicks tape. Yeah. Highly, highly recommended by Kenyon Martin and also Ray and Fell. I know Coach Woody, and I love him to death. You know, mm-hmm. Still should be the coach there, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> Uh, you know, he's like a, a coach, a father figure. He just all of the above for me. You, know? mm-hmm. you have Tibbs, you have Atkinson, and you have Miller. Um, first off, with that coaching search, man, I, I was I was on the Tim's bandwagon of, of getting Tim Tibbs, but um, but I, I'm I'm kind of feeling like we need to go in a young direction, man. A hungry coach, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Somebody that that that's willing to go. Up go make a name for themselves, man. And, and the more and more I, I feel in my gut, it, it keeps screaming Becky Hammond to me, man. Wow. I, I'm, mm. I'm feeling like whoever whoever gets her is going to be happy, man. And I, I think, I think honestly, man, if we're going to go with an um, older older group like CP3, maybe a Mello and a Kevin Love, then Tibbs would be great. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, but if they're going to keep it with a young movement, then I'll probably go with you know, Kenny Atkinson or or at least, you know, give Becky Hammond a try. 